Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we'll be answering the question, how does laser eye surgery work? About three quarters of all adults use some sort of corrective eyewear. But what causes sight problems and how can we fix them using a laser? The two main types of eyesight problems that can be solved using laser eye surgery are short and long sightedness. Short sighted or myopic people are unable to focus on distant objects clearly and long sighted or hyperopic people can't focus clearly on near objects. The reason some people are short-sighted and some people are long-sighted is all down to the shape of their eyes and laser eye surgery corrects their vision by changing the shape of their eyes. Let's quickly take a look at how the eye works so we can see how the shape of the eye affects your eyesight. The eye works in a similar way to a camera. Light enters the front of the eye through an area of clear tissue called the cornea. It's the shape of the cornea and the fluid behind it that are together mainly responsible for focusing images in the eye. The focused light then travels through the pupil, the hole at the centre of the iris, that can be made bigger or smaller to let more or less light in, depending if you're in a dark room or out in bright sunlight. The light then travels through the lens, which can change what we focus on depending if it's stretched or squeezed by its surrounding muscles. This bends the light by different amounts in order to focus it onto the retina, which sends the information to our brain. In short-sighted people, the cornea and the lens bend the light too much, focusing it in front of the retina, creating a blurred image. Concave glasses lenses are used to correct short-sightedness as they diverge the incoming light, making it focus further back in the eye correctly on the retina. In people with long-sightedness, the cornea and the lens don't bend the light enough, focusing the light behind the retina. Once again, we can fix this problem using glasses to refocus the image onto the retina correctly, but this time we use a convex lens that converges the light before entering the eye, focusing it correctly onto the retina. Now we come to how laser eye surgery can help. The aim is to correct the way in which light focuses onto the retina, but instead of using a lens in front of the eye, it works by reshaping the cornea itself. The most common types of eye surgery today are laser-assisted in situ keratomyelosis, or LASIK, and laser-assisted sub-epithelium keratomyelosis, or LASEK. The only real difference between the two is that in LASIK, a surgeon prepares the eye by cutting a thin flap in the surface of the cornea, whereas in LASIK, just the very top layer of cells of the cornea are completely removed using alcohol. The surgeon then uses a computer-controlled laser to carry out the operation, burning away small amounts of tissue to reshape the surface of the cornea and thereby altering where it focuses the image. The reshaping can take anywhere from a few seconds to up to a minute, depending on how much correction is needed. Afterwards, with LASIK, the flap of cells is replaced where it naturally sticks back down, and in LASIK, the removed sheet of cells is replaced and held down with a special contact lens. The whole procedure only takes a few minutes and recovery time is short. At first, a LASIK patient's eyesight will be very blurred due to the swelling of the cornea and the flap not being smooth against the eye. But as their eyes are allowed to rest, the swelling will reduce and they can expect to see without glasses just the next day. Taking antibiotic and steroid drops helps prevent infection and reduce swelling. LASIK has a slightly longer recovery time, but patients should still be back to normal in about a week. So there you go. Lasers are not just for use by Bond villains. We can use a powerful laser to carefully reshape the optics of the eye and give some people near-perfect eyesight. However, not everyone can have their eyesight corrected this way, as some people's corneas are too thin to reshape, while others have more complicated sight problems that wouldn't be solved using the laser. And even people who've had the surgery may still need reading glasses when they get older. This is because the lens in our eyes becomes less able to change shape with age, making it harder to focus on close-up things like your daily newspaper. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!